creativity is important for society. It helps society grow, build who we are as a collective. And uh, creativity is also important on the individual level. Everyday creativity uh, enriches our lives. And uh, when we are creative with our children, when we are creative with our partners, it contributes to our well-being, contributes to life better lived and more fulfilled. We have learned a lot about creative thinking, but what we don't know enough about is once we have these ideas, how do we make them happen? How do we make them come to life? And also we have to give ourselves permission to change how we do things, to uh, take different approaches, to change part way through and uh, not think there's something wrong if we are doing that. That's just part of what the creative process looks like. We know a lot about how to teach uh, creative thinking skills, but creative thinking is not the only aspect of creativity. Coming up with ideas is not the only thing that matters. The biggest way how we can foster and develop creativity is in a way the simplest. It is giving people permission to be creative, to share their ideas in an environment that will not be met with harsh criticism is the first step. Arts, emotions, and creativity are part of a mechanism. Each of them uh, can make the other move. Creativity uh, is necessary for the arts. There's no art or creativity that doesn't happen without some involvement of emotions. When we look at um, scientists who received Nobel Prizes, most of them have some involvement in the arts. So we see how crucial the arts and creativity and emotions are all together. Emotions are very important for creativity. Creativity is not just about thinking. Even if you have all kinds of emotions, you still have a potential of being creative.